Hello and welcome to Pan Branch Designs. Today I'm going to be making three projects out of air dry clay. I'm gathering some of my supplies, my craft sticks, my roller, my knife, and a little bit of water to help smooth out the clay. For the first project, I'm going to be using my Bluebird decoupage paper. I'm going to first work my clay, roll it into a ball, and then roll it flat so that I can mold it into the shape that I'm going to be using for this project. I'm using two craft sticks that I've taped together with painter's tape, and I'm using some PVC pipe that I found in the garage as my roller. It's more heavy duty than the smaller roller that I started with. In order to get the right shape, I'm just using a four x four tile that I used for another project as my template in order to cut out my clay. The knife I'm using is a little flexible, so one of the problems I had was I was bending it a little bit and it actually um, made my project a little warped, so I just had to go back in and straighten it up. Now that I have my shape, I'm just gonna clean up the edges using a little water on my finger just to smooth things out a bit. The smoother that I get it at this stage, the less sanding I'll have to do later after it dries. I'll just gather up some of my excess clay and I'll use that in my next project. What I'm making is like a curved dish, so I'm using this bowl as my mold. I'm using some plastic wrap so it'll be easier to remove the clay from the bowl after it's dry. I'm going to give this time to dry and in the meantime I'm going to start working on my second project. This one I'm going to use my paper with the two cardinals. Again I begin by working the clay. I get it into a ball and then roll it out using my PVC pipe and my craft sticks. I didn't buy the PVC pipe for this project or the craft sticks for this project. It's just something that I had um, in my craft supplies that I was able to use in order to um, get this part of the project done. Because I want this next project to be round, I'm just using an old bowl um, to form my shape. What I found out after doing this was that there is a better way. What I should have done is just lay the bowl down on top of the clay and then cut around the perimeter of the bowl in order to cut out the shape. By doing it this way, I'm making too many um, grooves and cuts in the clay that I'm later going to have to just clean up with water. Um, on the next project, I'll show you um, the better way that I found to be able to do this. Now I'm just cleaning up this project using the water and my fingers just to smooth out any imperfections. Any imperfections that are not removed during this process will be removed after the clay is dry when I'm sanding.
now that I've smoothed that piece of clay out to the best of my ability, I'm going to now form it over the bottom of the bowl. I just flip the bowl upside down, put a piece of plastic in between my clay and the bowl, and now I'm just forming my, my little trinket tray over the bottom of the bowl. Now that I'm satisfied with the form of my clay, I'm gonna set it aside and let it dry. Now while that's drying, I'll work on my third project. I'm going to use my gold finch decoupage paper for the third project. Again, I'm using my PVC pipe and my craft sticks as my guide as far as thickness. I'm gonna roll that out. And this time I'm gonna do the forming of the circle a different way. Um, as I said before, um, putting the bowl on top and just pushing it down was a little too messy. This is an old knife that I have that's already got a little bit of rust on it from some other project. So I'm using that to just cut out the, the circle. And I think it comes out a lot cleaner and it'll require less cleanup. I want to have a square form, so I'm using three tiles. They're about four by four, and I'm going to just lay my circular uh, clay piece over the top of the tiles, and then just like sort of form it over the top of the tiles. Again, I'm putting plastic in between the tile and my clay. It'll just make it easier for me to remove the tile from the clay, and um, it'll be less messy. Now I have all three clay pieces done, and now I just have to wait for them to thoroughly dry. Because I have them on plastic, I'm gonna take them off of their base, remove the plastic so that I can make sure that they're dry um, from both sides and all throughout the middle. I took them off the plastic that next morning, but then because I had other projects to work on, I left them for about a week and just let them dry with the air. There's no speeding up this process of drying. You don't put it in front of like a heat source or use an oven. Just let the air dry your clay and you just have to be patient. The first project is done in terms of the clay. So now I just need to sand the edges and just make it smooth. I'm not sure what grit this sanding block is, but it's pretty coarse. Now that I'm satisfied with that first project, I'm gonna move on to sanding the second project. I should have paid a little more attention to the underside of the project when I was smoothing it out with my fingers and the water. And also, the plastic left um, that line in the clay, so I'll do my best to sand that out. All right, so we're gonna move on to the third project, which is the Goldfinch project, and I'm gonna sand that as well.
bases of all three projects are done. So now it's time to go back to the first project. And I'm going to cut apart the bluebird pieces because it's rounded and I think it'll lie better on the base if I cut out the bluebird and the leaves. So what I'm going to do is paint the base a light blue and then glue the pieces on top of the base. You don't have to cut out the pieces as, as I'm doing. Um, if you wanna just leave it whole and put it on your piece, you can certainly do that. But because of these curves, I just thought it would lie down better if I actually just cut them out and then glue them on. The layout is actually a little different than the original paper. I'm just moving the leaves around a little bit. But now that I have them in position, I'm just going to use my decoupage glue and I'm going to glue down my pieces and then I'll put a little of the glue on top and then I'll go over the entire thing with the decoupage glue. This decoupage paper, I created it from a photo that I took of a bluebird that was outside my window. The tree that it was in is a crab apple tree. And um, there was lots of branches. And so I literally had to go in uh, to the photo and take out all the extra branches so that it would just show the bird on a few of the, of the branches. I like the way it turned out. Okay, so now it's time to work on the next project, and this is the one with the cardinals. I made this image from two separate photos of two different cardinals that were in two different places. I just put them together, put them on the stick, and created this image. Because this project has curves and a little bit of an angle, I decided to just cut out the image and then apply it to my project. I just felt that it would work better. You don't have to do that, and you can work it into the corners and over the curves. I just took the time to, to cut it out and I'm going to use it this way. I found it easier to add my decoupage glue to the back of the pieces and then position them onto um, my clay piece and then just pressing it into place. You may see a few little divots there in the clay. That's because I tried to use my Dremel to get that line out of the clay, um, but it just, just didn't work out very well. I 
could have used a finer grit sandpaper to get some of those divots out of the clay, but I just decided to work with it as it was because I just felt like, you know what, in nature there are imperfections, so there can be imperfections on my dish. Alright, now I've given that about 20 minutes to dry, but now I feel like this dish needs more. I'm going to cut out some of the leaves from the Bluebird paper and apply those to this project to embellish it and to give it more of an outdoor feel. If you're interested in decoupage papers that just have elements like leaves, flowers, and berries, let me know in the comments because I did cut these leaves off of another paper. Um, but if you'd like to have them available separately, um, just let me know. I'm really liking the way the project is turning out. 
because the cardinals have the red in them I thought it would be nice to add more red accents to the leaves to really accentuate um, the red in this project I'm just dabbing on a little bit of red acrylic paint using a really small paintbrush satisfied with the way that project looks, so now it's time to move on to the Goldfinch project. I'm going to position the paper exactly how I want it, and then what I'll do is once I have it in position, I'll just hold it down and then apply the glue to the top of the project, apply the paper down, and then work my way down the project, as you'll see here. Generally speaking, my papers are printed on rice paper. For this particular project, I was playing around with tissue paper, so I printed this image on a laser printer on tissue paper. Um, as you can see, it's different working with the tissue as opposed to the rice paper. It wrinkles a little easier, and um, once you put it down, it's down as far as with the glue. Rice paper gives you a little leeway. You can move it just a little bit, but um, with the tissue paper, if you try to move it too much after you've glued it down, you're gonna rip it, smudge it, smear it, etc. This image is also created from my photos. Um, I saw this goldfinch in the park. It was actually feeding a little baby bird. And um, that video, I'll try to place a link to it below if you'd like to see it. It's on one of my greeting card videos. I actually enlarged this paper for this particular project. So if you have a project and you want to use my papers but the image is not the right size, email me and let me know and perhaps I can make it larger or smaller just depending on what you're looking for. Now this is the only one of the three projects that actually has um, overhang in terms of the paper. So I'm just going to be using my sanding block and my emery board to remove the excess paper. After I finish removing the excess paper, I put a layer of decoupage glue over the entire project. I then took all three projects outside and sprayed two layers of 
acrylic gloss sealant on all three projects. Please comment below if you have questions about how I completed these projects, and I thank you so much for watching.